get ready for dictation please 5 seconds start the industrial policy resolution of 1948 was good so far as it went but unfortunately the spirit of it could not be understood or appreciated by the common man in this country so a new orientation of this policy was given and the honorable prime minister after his return from china publicly declared that the future policy of the country or rather the future pattern of society will be the socialist pattern that was further emphasized by the resolution passed at the avadhi session of the congress and later reiterated by shri Deber, president of the indian national congress i am very glad to say that the spirit of it has been caught by the nation today if i may say so the nation has taken up the challenge for securing the socialist pattern of society it behoves all sections both inside this house as well as outside without having mutual recriminations to try and propagate in a sincere manner and establish the socialist pattern of society indicated by the statements of the great leaders of our country it may be relevant and pertinent if i refer to a few sentences from the memorandum presented on the 4th june 1999 by our prime minister who was the chairman of the all india planning committee which came into existence when there was full autonomy in the states on pages 39 and 40 of that report he stated it is clear that the drawing up of a comprehensive national plan becomes clearly an academic exercise with no relation to reality unless the planning authority or those to whom it is responsible are in a position to give effect to the plan if this authority is powerless or circumscribed or restricted and has limited activities it cannot plan an essential prerequisite for planning is thus complete freedom and independence for the country and removal of all outside control this implies that the country possesses in itself full sovereign authority to take any measures adopt any policies and form any relations with other countries as may seem best to its governing authority in the interests of the country and its people national independence is thus an indispensable preliminary for taking all the steps 
that might be found necessary for carrying out the five year plan in all its various aspects throughout the whole country at the present moment it is clear that not only have we in india no national independence but we are hedged in and obstructed by numerous restrictions limitations safeguards and reservations which block the path to planning and progress our plan for national development must therefore be drawn up for a free and independent india thanks to the sacrifices made by millions of our countrymen and country women under the leadership of the father of the nation mahatma gandhi we have today secured complete sovereign political independence at a time when the nations of the world were engaged in the bitterest struggle using all the weapons of destruction if therefore we have secured political independence during a sorry the period of a quarter of a century it should not be difficult especially when we are today masters in our own country to secure a socialist pattern of society as has already been indicated but it requires the assistance the propaganda the active work of all those who are interested in this i am sure so long as my honorable friends the minister the deputy minister and the other minister who represent the commerce and industry ministry can give us an assurance that the capitalist pattern would be avoided some of us who believe in a cent per cent socialist democracy give an undertaking that certainly totalitarian policy will not be introduced in this country because we have believed all along during the fight that we have given to the british government when we secured political independence that we shall try to maintain democracy undiluted and a socialist democracy at that i am absolutely certain that in this country of ours liberty of thought liberty of speech and liberty of action will be guaranteed to every citizen to express his views in the manner he pleases i therefore assure my honorable friend that so long as we do not in the garb of a socialistic pattern support a capitalist system india will stand 100% for a socialist democracy now luckily for us the fundamental rights of the constitution have declared that a citizen would be assured of many of the social amenities which will give reasonable comfort from the womb to the grave but mere enunciation as i have said many times will not satisfy 
the common man unless the saying is put into effect i am absolutely certain therefore that so long as there is a determination on the part of our countrymen we will be in a position to secure a socialist pattern of society it is not even possible to draw up a plan on any other basis